Okay. I don't know if I'm filming or not. Am I filming? Okay, yeah, I got a new camera today, so I'm checking it out. So what we have here today is a boiler that we in, uh, put into service five years ago to the day. And uh, the VXT Red 85, and uh, we've reset it to zero. Uh, we know there's a known leak on our radiator. Um, one of the things that we like to do on a test is to double check the operation of the uh, low water cutoff. Right now the low water cutoff is uh, satisfied. Uh, amber light is not on. Uh, it just flashed, didn't it? Yeah. Okay. So, you see the water level is fairly low. We've been draining it off, decanting it as it were, into this bucket here. And what this is doing is it's simulating a slow leak. And you can see the low water cutoff is just about to trip. It needs a so this is putting the system under its most stress as the boiler is firing. And we're decanting off some dirty water. And in a few seconds that'll go solid. And as long as it's 30 seconds solid, it'll shut the boiler off. And that's what we want to see. I think the boiler has stopped running. We're going to stop the decanting process. And you see the water level is fairly low in this system. In the boiler, rather. And it is now sending a signal to the VXT as evidenced by the period there. And we've got this set for a two minute delay and a one gallon feed. So this is a Columbia CEG112. It's one of the smaller ones they make. Uh, so it only really needs one outlet and a two inch header and we got a very 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 tall uh, riser and that's where the old boiler used to tie in typical uh, VXT um, install there um, all steel construction. We've just uh, replaced the drain valve that we had on there, which is a pretty good one with one of our full port ones to help uh, get rid of some of the dirt. We had a full port one on the wet return and we have a ball valve there for no return flush. Uh, should that become necessary but there wasn't a whole lot of it there was there was some dirt in the uh re wet return but not a whole lot um that sounds like the feeder pretty loud and the uh water levels coming up The light will eventually stop blinking. The probe is actually located here. And in a, that, the light has gone out. It's still continuing to feed because it's going to time out for one minute and feed the boiler there. Yep, one gallon. The boiler is going to fire. The flue damper has opened. And we should be ready for another couple of years. 
thank you very much. I hope this was helpful in uh, testing low water cutoffs hot and make sure that they are working properly. Stay safe and I'll see you on the next one.